Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you guys everything that I'm taking with me to the hospital. Cannot believe we are already here. I am just about full term. I'm filming this on a, what day is it? Wednesday. I'm filming this on a Wednesday and I will be 37 weeks Saturday. So we are pretty much for go at any time. This part of pregnancy is the longest part because at 36 weeks you're like I could either have a baby in a week or I could have a baby in a month <laughs> but you still want to be ready for anything so this is my second baby so I do have a way better understanding of what I really will want with me to the hospital. First round I totally relied on other videos and just advice from other moms and I definitely want to pack lighter. I brought more things than honestly were really necessary. I feel like that's pretty typical for a first time mom. That way it's less things to worry about and less things to unpack once I'm home. I actually did make a list on Canva of everything that I need. This is just to ensure that I have everything, especially when you are going into labor. It is so nice to pull that out and check everything on the list instead of just like, do I have this? Do I have that? Do I need this? Do You know, it just gets way too complicated. A checklist just makes everything nice and organized and you feel more in control. You guys can use this list if you want or I just made it off of Canva. It was super easy. Um, but you're welcome to it. This is the hospital bag that I'm taking for my stuff. It's just like a weekender bag. I found it at TJ Maxx. So, and it's a really good size. So I will be putting everything in here. I'm first gonna start off with everything that I'm bringing for myself, and then I'll talk about everything I'm bringing for baby. I am bringing a few nursing bras. This one right here. And this one I just got off Amazon and I talked about it. A lot of these things I talked about in my, what I'm, wow, I am so out of breath. I need to take a second. <laughs> a lot of these things I talked about in my postpartum video, postpartum essentials video. So I'm also going to bring this one as well. Just have some variety, you know, and they're light and small. So not going to take up too much space. The next thing that I am bringing is some underwire. I really enjoyed having these my last pregnancy. The ones they give you at the hospital are very, it's not real underwear, it's like mesh. And I constantly felt like I needed to be pulling that up and I felt like they were just gonna fall off at any time. And these made me feel so much more secure in that it wasn't just gonna fall off of me at any point in time. So I'm gonna bring a couple pairs of these. And then I also have these. I highly doubt I'm gonna need these, but these are like my tummy control ones. So, I mean, I'll just pack them just in case. This will probably, I'll probably like these better a little bit later in my postpartum, but maybe, maybe not, I don't know. The next thing I'm gonna bring is this nursing tank top right here. This one is super, super comfy, so soft, and this will be so wonderful to put on um, when I'm nursing him and getting all that figured out. So, And then a robe. This is so important. I lived in my robe when I was in the hospital last round, so I got a really pretty one this time to take some cute pics in. It's all nice and white. Okay, go for that. The next thing I'm gonna bring is this oversized t-shirt. You guys have probably seen this before if you've watched any of my videos. This is like my all-time favorite t-shirt right now. And this is probably what I'm gonna wear coming home from the hospital. Just something nice and comfy and loose is the best thing. So that will be wonderful. And then I'm going to bring a couple pair of sweats. These are my new ones I got for postpartum. So I'm going to bring this pair. And then this one is my favorite. 
I'm gonna bring it this one right here. The print is so cute and it's so soft. So one of these I will wear like with my robe probably and then the other one I'll wear coming home. And then I'm also going to bring my nursing gown. This I had my last pregnancy and I wore it to the hospital and it was really nice and comfy. So I'm gonna plan to bring it this time too. So I'll either choose this to wear or my nursing tank top, just whatever I'm in the mood for. And then I am going to bring a couple pair of compression socks. Last time with my daughter, I was so, so swollen right after I gave in birth, and that's very normal. So I would honestly look more swollen after giving birth than before. So compression socks are going to be so very nice to have. Um, I'm already to the point in my pregnancy where I'm not able to get my rings off like these are on there until I give birth and swell down. And then I'm just gonna bring this pair as well. They're just, they're not compression or anything. They're just super comfy, cozy. So a must are a good pair of slippers. You are gonna be in and out of bed and you don't really wanna be walking around barefoot on the hospital floor. So I recommend getting a good pair of slippers with a harder bottom. Um, so that way you can go around the hospital and be nice and comfy, but still, you know, protected. And then also something that I recommend is bringing some shoes that you can shower in. I actually stole these from my sister. I'm going to use them. That way you can just not be barefoot when you're taking a shower. You know, you know, it's like when you go to camp and they're like, bring shoes to shower in. That same kind of idea. I'm also going to bring a hat just because I might not be in the mood to do my hair, but still don't want to look like a total train wreck. So a hat's always a good option, you know? The next thing that I'm gonna bring, this is a total must, is a good water bottle. Oh my goodness, after and during labor, I was extremely thirsty. I just could not quench my thirst. And so having a really good water bottle where something that's like this one keeps it nice and cold will be the ticket. And this one has like a little straw with it. I found it at Target. It was actually on sale. So bringing that. The next things are like toiletries. I love this bag right here. I've had it for years. And it just does such a good job with storing all of my like toiletries and stuff like this. It is so easy. It has like a little hook at the top where I can like hang it on the door. Um, but this one up here, I just have face wash, moisturizer, my contacts, just things like that. And then this one, I have a headband in here, which is going to be really nice if I want to pull my hair back. Um, and then I bought just a few little, I'll show you guys. I'll just show ya. But I went to Target and I got a, just a few little travel size stuff. So I got a body wash. And then I also bought some shampoo and conditioner. Because after birth, you are going to want to take a shower. I definitely did. You get very sweaty and, you know, lots of things come out of you. So it's always nice to take a shower and just feel refreshed. I remember that was like the best shower in the world after giving birth. You just feel like so much better. And I didn't want to have to worry about packing my shampoo and conditioner and putting that all in different things. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy that. And then I also got some makeup wipes. This will be so handy to have if I'm, you know, if I get to the hospital during like the day and I wanna like take my makeup off like in the midst of labor and I don't wanna get up and wash my face. This will be so very handy to have. And then my headband, this is my favorite head headband. This one was from Target. Love this headband. Um, it's so pretty and it works like a gem getting my hair out of my face. So this will be so nice to have. And then I'm also bringing um, a couple of ponytails because I'm sure there's gonna be a point in my labor that I'm gonna want my hair all out of my face. So these will be very nice to have. And then down at the bottom, I just have some makeup 
down here. This is just some of my makeup. Um, this is like makeup I use in the morning. Nothing to really like I need to ever touch up with. Um, I'm keeping most of my makeup actually in this one right here. And I'll probably just keep this like in my purse or my diaper bag. I guess I'm not going to be really bringing a diaper bag with me. I don't know. I guess my purse? Am I going to bring my purse? I haven't thought about that. I'm used to bringing a diaper bag everywhere I go. But Everly's not going to be with me. The only thing in there that I'll have to pack is like my toothbrush and my toothpaste. And then some deodorant. I'll honestly probably just steal TJ's deodorant. <laughs> and next I'm going to bring a couple extra batteries for my camera. Very important. And then also my little tripod. I'll probably bring this too. And I'm thinking about bringing my big one. Not sure yet. Not sure. Something else I'm going to bring is my pillow and also an extra towel. Actually, I'm not sure on the towel. I keep going back and forth if I want to bring a towel or not. But I know for sure that I'm going to want to bring a pillow. It makes you just feel more relaxed and like more homey, you know, when you don't just have the hospital grade pillows when you bring one from home. So definitely bringing that. The only things that I'll need to pack like right before I leave is hair stuff. I'll probably bring some hair tools like my straightener, my curling iron, um, my maybe my blow dryer, probably my blow dryer, and then like a hairbrush, and then my pillow, and that'll be, and my toothbrush, and that'll be it. <laughs> so that's everything for me, all nice and stored away. Okay, so now let's move on to baby. So for Truett's things, I'm going to be using my Ander bag right here. Such a good little size for him. First, I'm going to bring his few binkies. These are the Itsy Ritzy binkies. And then I'm also going to bring this clip right here. This one is from Mushy. I'm also going to bring some mitts. They're so cute and little. Everything's just so little. And then a couple pair of socks. Just a gray pair and a navy pair. And all the little things I'm putting up in this front pocket right here. I am going to bring his, this little bonnet right here. This one I got off Amazon is one of my favorites. I love the color. So stinking cute. Everything's like so freshly washed. It just smells so good. I used Drift and I'm kind of sad because I'm pretty sure they changed their formula because it does not smell like the normal Drift. It still smells good, but it smells more like baby shampoo than the normal Drift smell. I don't know how I feel about it, you know? I'm also going to bring this little knotted hat right here. This one's so precious. It's so soft and silky. I'm not sure what brand this is from. I think this one was given to me, but I can't remember. But this blue color is so cute. For a few different outfits, I'm going to bring this onesie right here. It's just so cute. It's just gray, and I love this, just the ribbed look. I think it's so sweet, and this one's so soft and cozy. This is from Modern Moments by Gerber. Something that he can wear like after his first bath. So roll this one up. I'm gonna put this one in the bigger slot. And then another little one is I'm just going to also bring this onesie right here. This is like the same Modern Moments by Gerber. And it's, again, that ribbed material. But this one's like a really nice cream color. And then I'm going to bring this swaddle right here. This is like my favorite swaddle. I think it is just so beautiful. I love the print and the color. Um, this is probably going to be one that I take pictures with him in. So, I'm also going to bring this car seat cover right here. Car seat cover, nursing cover, it's going to be both. It'll be really nice to have this, though, in the hospital. When I do have family coming in and out and I am nursing, I'll be able to not make them leave. Because <laughs> my hospital is allowing visitors so that's so great. Everly is going to be able to actually come to the hospital and see Truett after he's born, which I'm so 
thankful for. My mom and TJ are going to be the only ones allowed in the room while I'm giving birth, but afterwards they said that anyone can come, so that it, I'm so, so happy about that. <laughs> I don't know if I want this to be his coming home outfit. This will actually probably be his announcement outfit, I'm thinking. That's what I think. Like his announcement photos, but I got this from Lulu. They have the sweetest swaddles. I'm just going to go ahead and knot it so you guys can see. I got this knotted gown for him right here. I just think the color is just so perfect. It's almost like this grayish brown color. I don't know, but I just fell in love with it. It's very neutral. You guys know me. So I got this, and then it also came with this little hat, this little knotted hat. And the material on these are just insane. They are so silky soft. Oh. I love it. I got this one because this is the same one I had for Everly when she was born. She had like a pink one, so I had to get, I had to keep on with the trend, you know? This came in the mail and I almost cried because it just brought back so many memories. Like I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Next is, I am going to bring this swaddle right here. This is the Halo one in newborn. So I'm gonna bring this one at night then I'm also going to bring this blanket right here it is just so soft and I know it's gonna be so nice to just hold him in this where it's all nice and cozy I think a blanket is a must to bring to the hospital for your little babies on and honestly for you too like blankets just make everything feel more homey and cozy and then I am going to bring my letter board I already have his name on there so and this is probably what I'm going to use when I announce him. And then I'm also going to bring a bag full of extra letters just in case if one falls off or something. That would really suck. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and bring some diapers and wipes. I know they're going to have this at the hospital, but just to be safe, like on the way home, if he has some kind of blowout or something, typically newborns don't have blowouts, but you never know. And then also I am going to bring his baby book. I am not sure where it's from because it was gifted to me by my sister-in-law, so. But it's a faith-based one, which I think is so precious. It's so cute, like, it's so cute. But it does have a page of their, like his foot and handprints. So I need to bring that. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and bring my boppy. Um, I have a new cover on it, but I do keep it in the packaging just to keep it like safe and clean. Cause I just don't know how postpartum's gonna go and it might be really nice to have this to help with nursing um, and just something to help me hold him. Don't know how weak I'm gonna be. You just never know, so it's just nice to have. And then obviously we are gonna have his car seat, which I'm using Everly's old infant car seat. It's still good. This one is good for five years and she's only two years old, so still got some years in it. I did go ahead and clean it all up. It's just hanging out downstairs ready to go, so. I think Everly is starting to sense some change just because of you know, she's a smart kid. She sees mommy getting things ready, doing different things that she's not used to. And so she's being extra, extra clingy. And that's okay. Like, I am just soaking it all in. Guys, I cannot tell you. Honestly, I'm most anxious about her. She has never spent a night away from me before. So hopefully, maybe I can have her maybe stay a night with my mom just so that she learns um mommy will be back like you know she just doesn't understand that concept she has never been without me before so i'm a little nervous but i know people have babies all the times when they have older babies so she'll be fine and i know she is just going to love it i know she is so i do want to get i heard it's good to get like a sibling gift like when she comes to the hospital, having a little gift for Everly saying it's from baby brother. Um, so I do want to do something like that, which I still need to get that. That is everything that I'm going to be bringing to the hospital with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you're like, girl, you are missing 
blank, you know? Please let me know because pregnancy brain is real and I might be forgetting something that's very important. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye guys!